Hey guys, and welcome back to Frontline's Fuel of War. Let's continue. Situational brief. First coalition offensive of the new war are beginning. Reports of Red Star attacks raining from the Caspian Basin all the way down to Taiwan. Heavy coalition losses incurred. Objective, take control of the Red Star tank production facility and the town supporting it. Yeah, this one can be savage. supposed to be something to get the shit done Listen, right. Finch, all I know is that shit didn't pan out. Now my family has to eat from a bread line. Sergeant Thompson, we're on approach. Didn't realize we had a 12-year-old kid on board. For those of you who haven't yet had the pleasure of my command, listen closely. Straight dogs have been taking some shit lately. First we get drowned in Alaska, then Red Star ambushes our asses in goddamn Turkmenistan. Well, now it's our turn to go on the offensive to make the Red Star wish they stayed the hell home. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Because we are straight dogs. We can take it and we can dish it out. That's, right. That's what I want to hear. Once we're on the ground, command will be patching in with the final mission detail. Rack your gear and get ready to deploy. Yeah, those cutscenes, they are pretty embarrassing. But still, it's all about the gameplay, baby. And this game has it in spades. Oh, this one's not that bad, actually. I like this one. Okay. Now, one thing that kind of sucks, we can redeploy. Yeah, unfortunately, like, redeploying costs you one of your lives, which really sucks, assholes. But we can redeploy as a heavy assault. This is a really, really broken system. To change your weapon, you have to die. Uh, it should really give you the opportunity to change your weapon before you jump into a mission, but this is one of the few levels where you can actually have the uh, assault gear. And this machine gun, man, oh boy. This machine gun is where it's at. You still get the same amount of ammo, but it's... It seems to be more accurate. That's the thing. This uh, light machine gun is just more accurate and better, and more powerful in every way than the uh, standard assault rifle, which is interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's push these bastards out. Oh, there's a sniper rifle up here. I never knew that. Well, we better make use of that. You don't see the sniper rifle often, I can assure you. Let's see if we can take his little face out, which we apparently can't. It's unfortunate. Yeah, the Red Star sniper rifle is kind of cool too. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. We can't do much of anything here. Now, the sniper rifle is a really useful weapon for obvious reasons. You very rarely have to engage too much at range in this game. But when you need it, you need it. Hey, sir. You can see the... Oh, hi. <laughs> Just carrying his rocket launcher. Taking his rocket launcher for a walk. Bless him. Now, where's that machine gun? Oh, hey. Right. Oof. Need to go have a breather. When you're having a breather, it's a perfect opportunity to reload. Because this machine gun takes some time to reload. Whoa! Dude! Seriously? Where did you come from? You bastard. Alright, let's go check out the first point. I'm sure we can get that done. Luckily, the enemy AI in this game is useless. Which is kind of helpful, to be honest. 
If we can just get a nade over that. Hey, buddy, sit on that. Lovely. Well, this was rather poorly defended. Oof, I say, as I get a face full of lead. Guys. Nope. Ooh. See that delicious brain looking at me. Too much of a juicy peach to let up. Right, cool. Let's go grab this area. Now these are cool. These are basically um, landmines on wheels. These weapons are definitely going to come in handy. Because round here, there's a freaking tank. And when you're on your... Well, when you don't have a tank of your own, they suck. It's definitely going to take more than the tank to stop us. Definitely. Alright, let's grab the launcher. Actually getting some reasonable weapons now. So, next objective. Really? Thank you. We'll be taking a peek. To the other side. Good night, Chief. I see you down in that alleyway, you sly little pepper. Ooh, through the dome. Yeah, this rifle is pretty sick. The weapons in this game, like I said, although there's not many of them, they all feel pretty good. And they do feel reasonably futuristic. Reasonably. Alright, let's sneak through the alleyway. Right, boys, who's going to back me up? Anybody? Yeah, no shit, Captain. That's why we've got this little beast here. Now, am I mistaken? Why haven't we... Ah, we didn't take this objective over here. Oops. Right. That'll be why there's still some grunts here, too. At least I thought there was still some grunts here. I guess not. First phase complete. Now move into the town. First phase? We've already done phase three then. Right, who's here? Sorry, dude. Almost took his testicles off. Saying that if he was the one talking shit in the uh, dropship. I doubt he has any. Uh, looks like we're full of ruskies here. You can't kill your own men as well, which is, I suppose, a good thing. Be a little bit awkward otherwise, because you'd probably end up gunning down most of them. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. So we can hold a thousand rounds for this thing. I think you can hold a thousand rounds for all of the actual main weapons. Just in varying amounts. Oh, God. What's this guy packing? I don't know what he's packing, but he's dead. Now, we do get a shotgun later on as well. And the shotgun in this game is surprisingly competent. It's got some range to it. Like, serious range to it, which is impressive. Because it's not one of these games where the shotgun is literally a point-blank weapon only. Which I hate in game. I understand why they do it. They do it for balancing reasons. But it's so shitty. Right. Looks like we've got a tower. What have we got to play with? We've got some rockets. Ooh. Not a lot left of that. Although this guy found a way to survive. Anything left? Seriously? There's like one, one little bit of wire in his uh, sightline that actually saved his ass. Unbelievable. Die like a man. Seriously. Oof. 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 
Oh man, this isn't good. And I am as prone as I can be. That's interesting. So, going prone, you still stick over that. Good to know. Now, what's going on in here? Oh, we've got dudes in here. So I guess we've already taken this building? Nice. Yeah, that is one cool thing that happens in this game. If you take an objective, uh, your men will, or if you go anywhere really, your men will continually push to you. Another drone. This drone's cool. Yeah, your men will continuously try and get to you, even if that means going through loads of enemies. And in some rare instances like that, they will clear an entire building for you, which is nice. Who needs a sniper rifle, honestly? Right, grab some rounds, all loaded up, let's go. Now up in here, I believe there's another drone. Now these helicopter drones are quite cool. Tiger Claw. Ah, there's more there, sick. Looks like we're clear to move up. Now these Tiger Claws are little remote control uh, attack helicopters. Which have like small caliber rockets on the sides. And they do a reasonable amount of damage actually. Hey dude. Ever heard about cover? And I'm glad you didn't. Oh look at this guy, he's, he's doing a reasonable job. Right, let's push up. Let's clear this building. 200 round drum magazine. Oh, it's so good. We can go up there. Oh, boys. Last one up's a rotten egg. That guy was ready for us, man. He was eager. He was hungry for it. Unfortunately, he is now a corpse. Let's get one of our smooth ass charges out. God, I love that animation. Very multi purpose, those charges. They can take out a SAM launcher, they can take out a tank, and they can gently remove the hinges of the door. We got it, we got it. Armored reinforcements, you say? That sounds interesting. Good work, men. Armored reinforcements are about to land in the courtyard next to the HQ building. Sweet. You'll need these vehicles to assault the Red Star tank factory. Now this is my favorite vehicle. Hell yeah! Heavy armor inbound! Maybe we can pick up some chicks in these things. Uh, yeah, dude, bro. So this is like a Bradley APC or a Warrior. It's pretty cool. Or I guess the new Spartan, which is the new British um, IFV. Which looks reasonably cool. Now we have an unlimited 20mm uh, cannon here, which is ridiculous. And we have like 50 guided missiles too, which is nice. As you can see, we don't have a huge amount of armor because we're an IFV but we're just gonna go hide and chill here but of course we're not the only one the only trouble with these big heavy vehicles is you can see just how long they take to get their health back it's kinda ridiculous right, let's hit this guy with everything we have you can see our Ooh, our main gun does shred these tanks, amazingly, for the type of thing it actually is. It's pretty incredible. I have no idea what's going on there. Now one thing to note, if you switch view into like the gunner's position on this vehicle, it is different. The, pers the perspective does actually change where you're aiming at, which takes a little bit of getting used to. Not sure why they did that, but whatever. It's not a big deal. It's just something that can, if you don't know about it, get you into a little bit of trouble. Oh, hi. 
Stick that down your throat. And yes, aiming at the rear armor does do increased damage. We will get um, told about that later. And I think... We're, oof, God, we got lucky there, guys. Jeez. Now we really need to get some repairs. But yeah, this heavy repeating cannon is really nice. But I'm surprised they give you unlimited ammo for it. Because it is just extremely OP. And I, I absolutely prefer this vehicle. Oh look, he's showing us his rear armor. How very stupid of you. Yeah, never expose your rear armor, jackass. I don't know where he learnt to command a tank. But I guess that's not really my problem now, is it? And we want to be extremely careful here because anti-armor rockets really will ruin our day. Now, ruin our day pretty bloody fast. Looks like we can grab. Oh no, I thought we could grab ourselves an enemy tank there, but nope. We can grab ourselves an actual enemy tank there, though, but there'll be time for that another day or another mission. Given the choice, this is a much better vehicle. And you get the maneuverability that you don't have with a tank as well. And the way the uh, main gun on a tank works in this game, just, you know, you have to be pretty surprisingly accurate. Oh, hello. You have to be surprisingly accurate to um, kill infantry with it. And you have a coaxial mounted machine gun on it, which does a reasonable job at killing troops, but it has to reload fairly often. So, there's all these negatives, and there's no real advantages for picking the tank over the IFV. Yes, boss. Yeah, we don't need to, though. We just need to hold this ground. Oh, hey. That's bad. I think maybe they only throw tanks at you on the harder difficulty. Maybe. I'm not sure. Kind of curious. I don't actually ever remember them throwing a tank at us there. I thought it was just like an infantry grind. You can see this is just pretty brutal. Pretty savage. Absolute slaughter of these red star dudes. Must be pretty bad for morale. But hey, pretty good for armor, huh? Just grinding these guys up. Ho 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 ho! Yeah, those TOW missiles are awesome! Because you can guide them with the aiming reticle. As hard as it actually is to aim them properly, you can do it. But they do have quite the explosive radius, considering they're probably anti-armor. They're not too shabby at killing infantry. In fact, I think they're better at killing infantry than the main gun. Any more? Any more for any more? Yep, there's always more. So there's one little bastard hiding behind the crates. <laughs> Lucky you. But we're not done yet. Oh no. Fine work, stray dogs. But those tank factories are still Red Star property. 
There are three gates in and out of the factory compound. Before we assault the factories, we need to control at least one gate. Stay sharp now. They know we want this one. Uh, I guess we could take the Red Star tank. Just for shits and giggles. Just to show it off. It's... Yeah, I mean, you've got this really powerful coaxial gun. Oh! That's interesting. It has unlimited ammo. The coalition tank does not have unlimited ammo on the coaxial. It has to reload. I wonder why that is. Maybe this doesn't do as much damage? And it's really annoying when it has to reload because it does have a reasonable uh, cooldown to it. It's a shame I couldn't grab another soldier. Because there is a machine gun on top. But we can't use that unless we have another soldier. This tank is a lot more low tech than the Coalition one. But, you know, I'm sure it does the job. Now, I have no idea what the downside for this vehicle is then. Right, he's done. He's had enough. It's kind of OP to have this coaxial gun without needing to cool down. That is awesome. I wish I'd known about that before. So as you can see, it shreds. Right, cool. We've got another guy in the tank. Now, yeah, like I say, with the destructible environment, sometimes you can blast apart all kinds of things. And other times you just can't. It's very shit. Very hit and miss. Which is kind of interesting. Whoa. See that rocket just come out of nowhere. I mean it didn't come out of nowhere, it came out of some assholes rocket launcher, but you get the point. Oof. camp behind this wall. Yeah, those rocket guys are no joke on this difficulty. Whoa! Is that you? That is you. Okay, so we got some more tiger claws. Didn't get to use them in the last part. So this little thing is quite fun. Fires these little like party rockets. Kind of like party poppers or something. But we're almost out of range. Again, we don't have a huge amount of ammo with it. And it has to reload. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Now there should be an enemy tank around here somewhere. Unfortunately, we're out of signal strength. Now, the good thing is, our drone is just chilling there. So all we've got to do is go back up to it, and we can take control of it again. Just, you can see it there, just hovering there. Just chilling. It's all good, dude. Now, I know there's enemy... I thought... Well, I say I know. I thought there was enemy armor around here. There is. Let's get this 120 mil right in his throat. Ooh. This guy doesn't know how to aim, which is good for us. He's done. He's had enough. Yeah, these machine guns are just insanely accurate. You wouldn't have thought they would be, but they are. Oh, lovely. Let's see more of that rear armor. Oh, you silly bugger. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Right. Oh god, hello. 
Didn't see him there. Obviously. Here's me going to take control of my drone. Now, the good thing about those drones, if you're done with them, you can pick them back up. Which might be something I want to do. Alright, come here, you. But then, we have so many of these in our back pocket, I guess it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. You destroyed my helicopter. You bastard. That's fine. So it looks like every level is two parts, which I obviously knew, but I forgot. But it looks like when you transition to the second part, you do lose all the gear you've accumulated in the first part, which kind of sucks. I didn't realize that was a thing. But, you know, it doesn't matter because it doesn't take too long to start picking gear up again. I guess it's a way to kind of reset the playing field. Now, one thing I will say is that map kind of remind, ooh, reminds me of an old game called Battle, Battle Engine Aquila, I believe it was called. Can we, ah, we can go Assault. Battle Engine Aquila. It's a very similar sort of idea where you have the uh, map system like that and you have to take over territory. Eh, it's a game we'll get to eventually on the OG Xbox. Unfortunately, we have lost a life. Now on this difficulty, it's very stingy with the lives, like I said, but... It's not super important because if we die, we just go back to our next or our last checkpoint. Ooh, look at all these tank battles. Whoa, dude. Absolute Chad there with his shotgun. Where did you run to? Oh, I think my mate iced him. There's a lot of tank battles there. I don't think they need that many. Well, it's not really the factory that's toast, is it? We just destroyed the stockpile of barrels. Which we hope they can't just, you know, make more of. Alright, let's get some heavy artillery out and about. You can actually see the jets come in and drop those bombs if it's not as hectic as it is. Well, that's going to help. It's all about using everything we have. Uh, just, whoa, that's one of our guys? All the way out there? What a chad. Okay. See that? It took all of those guys shooting the shit out of him to actually kill him. Which is kind of insane. Right, let's move on. What have we got? Everything's loaded up. Good. Right, come on, boys. We'd find another entrance. Some idiot has locked the main gate. Ooh. Hello. What are you doing out here? Vlad? Was he late for work this morning? Damn. All right, let's get some lead out. Start thinning these guys out. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, so we need to destroy the computer, which somehow disables this entire factory. Don't question it. It's science or something. Oh, I love this machine gun. I wish you could select this machine gun in every uh, mission. You can't. 
It sucks. In fact, you very rarely get the opportunity to use this gun. Okay, let's get another one of these smooth-ass charges out. Because our pocket is full of them, apparently. No, hide our asses over here. If you say so, boss. If you say so. Couple more of these, and we've got our ticket home. Hell yeah! Don't pack your things yet. You don't get the news I do. Fighting spread to the Korean borders and the South China Seas. Last night, China took Taiwan. With China occupied on two fronts, Russia's getting desperate, reckless. Who knows what they're capable of? So how far you think this thing's gonna go? At the rate we're going, it's either Washington or Moscow. Well, let's be fair. And Moscow is a that was lot closer. A major Red Star tank factory, not simply destroyed, but even worse for the Red Star, captured. Because in an age of desperation that restricts every human endeavor, control of resources is ever precious. Which brings us to a very small and desperate recon mission, aimed deep behind enemy lines. The hope? To spark one of the early turning points of the war. It was David versus Goliath, an overambitious, impossible task. Yet no one would see it coming, especially not the Chinese. Yeah, that's the next mission though, and I freaking hate this mission. It's the worst mission in the game, uh, by far, because it's just you with a sniper rifle and 758,000 enemies. And on this difficulty, it can get a little rough, but that will have to wait for the next video. So, thank you very much for watching guys, and as always, until next time.